And a perfect example about the behaviour of the Prime Minister is an extraordinary story, I've got to tell you, from Sydney. Now, we know the Prime Minister, this time last week, was pretending he definitely didn't make the organisers of the domestic violence rally cry, even though we know he did. And even by the middle of the week, there were people that were writing this whole series of hate and hit pieces on Twitter about the woman who organised the rally, who has not been heard from since she criticised the Prime Minister. She's still there, just no doubt doesn't want the pylon that comes with when you have a go at this bloke. Well, as you know, this Prime Minister has been grossly, grossly ineffective in talking about the protections of the Jewish community after the events of October the 7th. But remember, virtually no rage after the protests at the front of the Opera House on October the 9th. So that's before we even get into the obvious complications, difficulties and disaster of the past six and seven months about what has been happening in Gaza. Instead, these vague, don't escalate things. Well, he eventually turned up to a synagogue. He did today. He's done this in the past, but he decided to do, uh, to do it over the weekend where he met with a series of rabbis. He's met uh, with a Labor MP where apparently he was talking the talk about how uh, offensive some of the student-based protests have been. But an interesting piece in The Australian over the weekend... There was one person who actually represents the area of Sydney in the New South Wales Parliament where this synagogue is, Kelly Sloan. Kelly Sloan, I think, is an excellent local representative and I think will probably end up becoming the Liberal Party leader at some point in time. She's a good, smart, focused person who loves her community. But guess who was banned from going to the event in her local area with all of the other representatives? None other than Kelly. We read from the Oz together. Anthony Albanese bans Kelly Sloan from Jewish meeting. On an issue arguably resistant to political silliness, the queer centre brinksmanship still provided Albo's visit. We hear his office called ahead to the synagogue and insisted the Liberal MP Kelly Sloan, the state MP for Vaucluse, be barred from attending the event. Reasons not provided. Now, of course... What Albo doesn't want is anyone apart from his side of politics in the room, either because he thinks they'll leak against him and optics is more important than everything else, or he wants to deny anyone but his own political party the opportunity to be part of a solution. Because then if there is some sort of a solution or a harming, then it's the Labor Party, rather than all sides of politics, that get credit. Now, Kelly Sloan has previously attended events with the Prime Minister... She was laying wreaths at the front of Bondi with the Premier, the local mayor, the federal MP, and the entire political spectrum was there. But when it came to this scenario, no, 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 she was to be banned, not allowed in. I look forward to this story, of course, being feverishly denied, filed under misinformation, and under the laws they want to bring into the country, something that they would ban social media companies from presenting. But that is the reality of what took place in that meeting with the synagogue.